everyone. My name is Aang and my English name is Helen. And today I read a story fun book 3. Now let's read with me. 6. What a great grandmother. Peter's grandmother is 71. And every day she does the same things at the same time. She always gets up at 7 o'clock. She always gets dressed and at 8, eight, eight o'clock. She always has breakfast, two pieces of bread, a banana and a cup of tea at 9 o'clock. She always listens to music on the radio at 10. It's her favorite part of the day. She always has a cup of coffee at 11 and then she goes for a short walk before lunch down the down to the square around the park and back home again. And she always has her lunch, fish, chips, and peas with tomato sauce at 12 o'clock. On Friday afternoons, Peter often goes to see his grandmother. Last week, he slept at her house on Friday night too. On Saturday morning, he got up at 7 o'clock and ran downstairs to talk to her. I've got an idea, Gran, Peter said. Let's have a crazy day. What do the, you mean, she asked. Well, you always do the same things at the same time every day? Yes. Well, today, let's have a different day. I'm hungry. Let's have our breakfast now. And let's have egg sandwiches and sausages. But I never have egg sandwiches or sausages for breakfast, Peter, his grandma said. But then she looked at Peter's face and said, Okay, those sausages were really good, Gra Peter's grandmother said. After breakfast, I'd, I liked them a lot. I enjoyed them too, Peter said. Right now, let's get dressed. Then let's go for a walk. But I always listen to the radio first. His grandma, his grandmother started to say, but then she stopped. All right. Good idea. Where's my coat? Peter's grandmother enjoyed their walk, but when they got to the square, Peter said, let's catch a bus to Market Street. There's a really cool cafe between the library and the shopping center. We can look at the shops and then have a have our lunch there too but i never catch busy buzzes peter and i never go to the shopping center in market street and i never eat the coffees coffees peter's mother said but then she looked at the smile on peter's face and said okay come on Peter's grandmother enjoyed walked, walking around the shopping center. She bought a new watch, a fantastic purple and yellow sweater, and a little cupboard for her bathroom. Then, in another shop, she found an exciting board game for Peter. I'm happy. I'm having lots of fun, she said. What a great day. 
When they go, they got to the cafe. Peter said, "Let's have noodles. Let's have pancakes too, chocolate ones. But I never have noodles or pancakes." Peter's grandma said. Grandmother said. But then she smiled and said, "All right, I can try them today." After lunch, Peter's grandmother said everything was brilliant. Those noodles and chocolate pancakes were fantastic. I loved them. Good, Peter said. Now let's go home. I know you sometimes sleep in the afternoon, and I'm tired. But I don't want to go home, and I don't want to sleep this afternoon, Peter. His grandma, his grandmother said, "Let's go for a boat ride on the river, and then go for a walk all around the lake. We can buy cakes and eat them in the park, and any of those things." And then we can go to the cinema. I never do any of those things, but I'd like to do them all today. Peter smiled. Okay, Gran, he said. Let's go. You know, you really are a great grandmother, and you really are a great grandson, Peter. She laughed. Thank you for watching my video and goodbye. Bye bye, everyone.